Hey there everyone, my name is Andrew and welcome back to an Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be creating a for loop node that has a delay in it. So what does that mean? Well that means that just in that example that you've seen there where we spawned a whole bunch of cubes up in the sky, which in that case we used this for loop node. Today we're going to learn how we can put a delay onto that so that rather than all of them spawning at once, there's a steady flow of them spawning at, at a set timer that you can give it. A very simple thing to assume, which is something that I did for a while, was that you could go to the loop body of your for loop, and then you could put a delay in here. Let's say that we've got a delay, a delay in here of 0.2 seconds. And if we go and play this, you see, it doesn't actually work. It only spawns one cube. To create our own version of a for loop node, where we can put a delay in it, we're going to have to create our own blueprint macro library. So to do that, go to your content browser, right click, blueprints, and go and click on blueprint macro library. You want your parent class to be actor. And then call this my macro library. Once you've done that, double click and open my macro library. And up on the top right here, it has already created a macro for us. So let's call this for loop with delay. Because this for loop with delay is very similar to the way that the normal for loop works, it's just that we're adding a delay, we can actually go and borrow some of the code that is used in the for loop. So go back into the piece of your code where you have your for loop and you can double click on it to access it. And now you see we have what is inside that for loop node. What we can do here is that we can copy and paste everything that is in between this input and output, do control C to copy, head back up to your my macro library. And after giving yourself a little bit of space here with your inputs and outputs, Control V to paste in the for loop content. For this to work properly, we're going to need the correct inputs and outputs. Click on the input node here on the graph and go down to the bottom right here and click the new parameter button on inputs. We want our first variable to be an, an execution pin and we can call this exec for short. Our second and third pin on the input will both be integers. And we'll call the first one first index, and the second one last index. Moving on to our outputs, we want our first one to be another execution pin. And we're going to call the first one loop body. Our second output is going to be index. And our last output is going to be another exec. And we're going to call this one completed. So now that we have our inputs and outputs properly set up, this is how you reconnect things back the way they were in the normal for loop. We want to get our input exec into a sign. We want to drag off of first index and attach that to the value in a sign. And our last index will go into the bottom node here on this, um, on this less than or equals node. Over here on, on the other side of the graph, we want to drag off of sequence, then zero. Connect that to our loop body. This branch here, false, will connect into completed. 
and we want to drag off of this local integer and attach that into index. So that's great. We now have basically recreated the for loop node as it is standard. So to make it so that we have a delay, after this assign down here, we're gonna drag off, type in delay, and then if we want to be able to control exactly what the delay is, let's go to our inputs and add in one final input. Let's make it a float and call it delay. And now we can connect delay from input into our delay node down here. So now that we've done that, it really is just as easy as going back to the section of code that you were working on, deleting the original for loop that you had, and then typing in the new macro that we made, which we called for loop with delay. And we connect it up exactly the same as we had it before. Set last index to 100 because that's what we had it at before. And if I were to type in 0.2 in here now, the delay will work. So instead of them all spawning at the same time, they will be spawning in at an even steady pace. So guys, that's it for this short tutorial video. Uh, tomorrow's video, I hope, will be how to do the same thing, except instead of it being for the for loop, we're gonna do it on for each loop, which is the version of loop where you work with arrays. If, you, if you've enjoyed this video and you're new here, please make sure to subscribe for future tutorial videos just like this, and also to keep up to date with game projects that we're making Right now we're currently making a dinosaur city smash up game called Jurassic Smash and we're also making a strategy tycoon game called Library Tycoon. We have a video up on our channel that describes exactly what those projects are about. Anyways, I've been Andrew, thank you for watching again and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.